So you're wondering how AI can help you with accounting? In this video, I'll show you how you can integrate V7 into a full personal finance or accounting application. An important part of such an app is to take a picture of your receipt and automatically recognizing and tracking every expense. V7 will hereby take over the entire machine learning part. And the best thing is, you can sign up for free and get started yourself. You only need to enter your academic email and you are good to go. While we are genuinely excited to support world-changing open source research, there are some limitations to the free plan and for more details check out the link in the description. That said, you will easily be able to follow along this project without limitations. Okay, on a high level, what will our app do? We'll assume it can take an image of our receipt and send it to V7. There, our workflow will be triggered where our machine learning model analyzes the image and sends all data back to our app, where we could do anything we want with it, such as listing or categorizing our spendings. So let's get started. Again, we are assuming that our simple app can take an image and send it to our V7 dataset via the REST API. We have an in-depth tutorial on how to upload your data via this API that we'll provide a link to. This means we can now expect our image of our receipt to be sent to our V7 dataset. Now we'll see how easily we can integrate V7 as part of our machine learning pipeline using the intuitive workflow feature. Let's create a dataset and call it Receipt Scanner. We can skip all other parts for now and jump straight away to the basic workflow. We'll here simply add a model stage and add the Receipt Scanner model. This model is actually an already V7 natively available model that you can just use. And to enable the model, you will need to go to the Models tab and click on Start. Yep, that's it. As you can see, it costs a few credits to run, but in the end of the video, we'll mention other options that are free. We now have made our model available and have selected it in our workflow. To really get it to work, we need to assign all possible classes the model can predict. To avoid this hassle, we have prepared a simple script that you simply need to run once. This script actually also works for other models, like the invoice or ID scanning models. A link to the script is in the description. To execute the script, you will only need to provide the model type, in our case received, your slugified v7 team name, the name of the dataset we just created, receipt scanner, and your v7 API key. Hit enter, let it execute, and we are done with the model stage. We will now want to add one more stage that sends the model's output back to our app. We'll add a webhook stage and provide the URL to our app endpoint. We once again have a full video on how to use the webhook stage and we'll once again provide a link to it. That said, we are already done. What will happen now is that once our app uploads an image of a receipt, it will start in the dataset stage. Once a month, when you want to do with the bookkeeping, you will simply need to move all receipts or other documents like invoices stored in the dataset stage to the model stage. From there on, the rest happens automatically. The model now analyzes the image and finds all important information, like the items bought and how much was spent on them. This information is then forwarded to the webhook stage, which sends a JSON response to our app that looks something like this. We can here, for example, see the first detected dummy item in line 26 called lorem ipsum. The next annotation is its corresponding quantity with a detected value of 1 and then there is the total price of this item. The same structure would be used for all other items in this list. Given this information, our app can now process the data, store it, and visualize it to our heart's content. This was a very simple example, where we used a model that already exists in V7, but we're definitely not limited to those. You can train your own model directly in V7 and use that one. You can register one of your own models that is running on some server of yours and use that model as well. Or you can even directly select one of the amazing models available on Hugging Face. V7 offers so much more than just data labeling. We hope this video was a simple introduction and inspiration on how you can leverage V7 as part of your deployed app. We're excited to see what more you can build using V7.